you know, we, we figured this out as we went was that uh, on Algorand, all these projects want to work together. You know, it's a, it's a team here. Hey, what's good, y'all? It's C. Will, and this is the Passive Income Network. On this channel, we talk about creating assets that produce passive income. On this episode, we have a special podcast feature with Project Ager. What's good? We got the founders here, Victor and James. How y'all doing? Doing good. Doing good. Doing good. Nice. So break it down a little bit for the audience. This is an NFT project built on Algorand. So, you know, on this channel, we talk about Algorand a lot. Favorite blockchain. Shout out to the uh, Algorand Foundation and all the Algo fam. Uh, so we have Victor, who has an experience as a pro card player, and then James with some developer background. Uh, start with James. Can we talk a little bit about you and uh, how did you get into this project or why you developed? Yeah, so I, I come from a background in uh, a back-end programming, uh, and I, I've been in the industry for 10-plus uh, years. Uh, I've worked at a, a few startups that have uh, successfully exited, which was very nice. And my last one, we, we just got acquired by uh, a, a very large uh, security firm. So uh, Victor had reached out to me about this idea he had for a card game. Mm -hmm. And I remember when he approached me, I was like, huh, like, tell me more. I, I'm, I'm interested. And, uh, and then, you know, I, I was really interested in Algorand for a, a little more than a year. Mm -hmm. And I've been uh, following the developer community uh, closely. And that's when I, I, it was like, have you thought about putting it on blockchain and uh, or utilizing the blockchain uh -huh. for the NFTs to back the assets and and getting into that type of market? And that's kind of when uh, Victor and I were like, all right, let's let's make this real. And uh, then we I, I threw in all my cards and and uh, left my uh, company to to work full time on on Project Dagger. And this is actually our our logo. I have nice. a, a custom hat ready for East Denver. So I'm <laughs> nice, yes, yeah. yeah, that's dope. Well, yeah, uh, I like the logo as well. Like a kind of like an arrowhead, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's an AT if you if you look close. Oh yeah, yep, AT. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yep. Nice. So yeah, thanks for sharing with the audience. Uh, yeah, Victor, what about you? Please um, talk about your pro card career. It got me hyped. Yeah, so I've, I've played a lot of card games. I, I didn't have one that I specialized in, but mm -hmm. I think Hearthstone is probably the one that uh, people recognize me for at times. Uh, I played at BlizzCon one year, and I've had a couple couple high-profile tournaments like uh, like American Championships and things like that. Um, the, the reason I got into this is uh, the, the pro scene in a lot of these card games, it, 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 the, the development and the design of these card games don't always lend themselves to a competitive scene. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes, sometimes the games are great and it's really interesting. You have a close game and, and it's, it's fun to, to have a competitive scene to, to experience it. But then sometimes you get too much randomness and uh, people feel like the games don't really get determined by who played better. They, they get determined by just card game wackiness. And so for, for years, I've been trying to come up with a concept for a card game that would take the competitive scene to a new level. And uh, it, was, it was recently when I started talking to Jim and, and heard about Algorand and, uh -huh. and how he's interested there and that, you know, this is really great technology as far as card games go. It has, there's a lot to offer uh, in the competitive scene. And that was that was really how the idea started: is to to take this uh, card game I've been building and uh, translate it and put it on the blockchain. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's been it's been great so far. We've uh, we've been doing pre-sales of our our game assets, and the community is pretty hyped. So oh, yeah. we're we're pumped sure. to see where it goes from here. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Well, can we give a quick project overview? before we hop over to the website and show some of these legends? Right, so the, the core of the concept um, with, with our game is that we're trying to make it uh, a little more streamlined for people to jump into the card game. 
So instead of releasing just tons and tons of assets, tons of cards, and having people uh, build the decks, we're theming the game around these uh, legends that are, it's a collection on Algorand called the Agri Legends. And uh, these are the assets that we've been pre-selling. And so having one of these in your wallet would give people access to the game to, to play as that character to, to get a deck based on them. And in addition to that, we want these NFTs to have kind of play to earn potential. So what we're building into these uh, early legends is um, we're, we're building an app so that they can they'll have utility uh, for play to earn. Uh -huh. And um, we'll we'll have more to announce about that soon, uh, hopefully at ETH Denver. Um, but yeah, these these are our core assets, and uh, we, we've been working closely with an art team in Germany to to bring the game world to life. And uh, yeah, the, the reception has been great so far. Dope. Yeah. Well, shout out to Germany. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm gonna uh, pull up your site here. I'm gonna have y'all talk about these legends. So. First of all, Starlight Labs, why that name? I like the name as well. I like a lot of stuff on this project, honestly. I'm not <laughs> fanboying or nothing, but uh, well, Starlight yeah. Labs. Well, so Starlight Labs. Uh, so Starlight is, is like a, so it's a nautical term. It's it's like, you know, when you, when you put your hand up to uh, to figure out what the, you know, where you are based on the uh, the stars. Mm -hmm. um, just just uh, me and Jim are, uh, we have a Norse background and, uh, you know, we, we wanted to go with something nautical. Uh, we oh, don't have said, an icon yet. You but... said Norse? <laughs> uh, Norse, like uh, Norwegian. Yeah, yeah. So you, you seen Norsemen? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love that show. <laughs> yeah. little, 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 I, little I just hysterical. finished uh, third season. <laughs> I, I don't know if I've seen the third one. It's really funny, though. Yeah. Great show. Yeah. Okay, I recommend don't... it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what's up. Have All you right. seen it, Victor? I, I've seen bits of it. Yeah, uh, it's yeah. A I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, and this, see, this, this is a uh, Gregor, right? Is this the main guy, the Templar? Um, the he, guy? he was the first one that we released. Um, so all of them, like, we're aiming for balance here, mm -hmm. uh, being a competitive game. So I, I wouldn't say Gregor is like the the main one or better than anyone else, but he's he's certainly one of our favorites. One uh, of our favorites. He, he was the first. Nice. And, so got, uh, got yeah, some yeah. love for him there. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully he'll always have that. that extra and and he kind of looks like Victor. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the artists swear that was a coincidence. They, uh, Victor Victor has Bobby a nice shiny Victor. head. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So can you break down some of these characters? The artwork's beautiful. Um, so we got a Templars. We got Berserkers. So that means they're all playing some type of role, uh, we'll say, in this game, yeah. right? Shadow so, Blade. Like I said before, with the you know having a legend gives you access to jump into the game. The the class, the the, the second uh, term in, mm -hmm. in each title, is going to determine what that deck is. And so there'll be multiple Templars that we're going to release over time. But they'll all give you access to the the Templar deck, which we're, we're aiming to have some level of customization for. Mm -hmm. But our approach is to to really streamline the the access to the game. And so um, th there'll be plenty of Templars to choose from when the time comes. <laughs> but right. they'll, all, they'll all give you the same gameplay experience. Yeah, this is dope, yeah. What, what's what, what, can y'all both tell me y'all favorite so far? Um, I mean, it, it would have to be some of the newer ones. We've, we've got some more to, <laughs> to announce out in, the, yeah. in the coming weeks. But yeah, these, these desert themed ones, uh, the, the artists, um the, they're incredible <laughs> our artists they, they don't like to to do anything that that you've seen before they you know from, from the beginning they want to kind of create a new game world uh with, with new themes and you know outfits you haven't seen before yeah. uh, so it's it's been incredible working with them nice well yeah congrats on that corsair is this a new one uh yeah he's we just uh dropped him yesterday i think yeah he finished wrapping up uh just at 1 p.m. So oh, wow. he sold yeah. out. Yeah. yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, All right. I'm gonna go to the NFT ones. Explorer. Uh definitely one of my favorite sites on here to look at NFTs. Uh so I see y'all got some volume. Yeah, it's been going great so far. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're we're pretty fortunate. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, shout out to that. Volume means that uh people are interested, they're buying them, and then the game got some uh traction happening. Can you um 
I know y'all have Discord games. I'm going to close out of here. Can, can y'all break down what the Discord uh, aspect of the games is right now? Um, yeah, so um, we actually have two separate tokens right now. We have the Ager, which is you know directed at the main game. But then we also wanted to create some fun experiences um, to, to utilize the assets early. And so we've been building out a Discord game, and we've got a separate token for that. And the idea is that this is completely community driven. Uh, we, we hold governance votes mm -hmm. and Jim basically builds the Discord game to the community's whim. It's just really yeah, meant to sure. be an opportunity for people to come together and just build something kind of fun on the side. Because in the long term, we, we hope that these assets, you know, it's, it's more than just a card game, that these assets can be built into other projects nice. uh, potentially and uh, or turn into spinoffs. And so it's been it's been really fun interacting with the community. Uh, maybe Jim can talk a little more on that because he's really the the one behind the Discord game. Yeah, yeah. The uh, Discord game started as an experiment, mm. and uh, then it it really uh, grew from there. But um, uh, basically, by participating once uh, or like a, a couple times a day, you have the opportunity to earn. Uh, our token, which is, or our community token called Dagger. And um, that allows you to vote on proposals for the Discord uh, community. Like our last one was, oh, which which uh, legends do you like the best mm -hmm. that you want to us to show at ETH Denver? Uh, so at ETH Denver, they're having a gallery and we're only going to be choosing five of them. So we, we had the community vote on like the, the top three uh, and then we moved that over whatever they voted into our decision to forward to the, the Algorand team. Damn. And then uh, the other votes have been with game mechanics, uh, the Discord game mechanics. Um, so we're, we're planning to expand on that in the future and make it a little bit more uh, real um, versus like a less of a toy, uh, which I kind of consider it right now. It's like all within Discord. Not, it's, it's not really utilizing Algorand to its full potential. Mm -hmm. and I, I really, I want to take it to that level next. Uh, but, you know, we have so many things that are we're working on at the moment behind the scenes, uh, like our questing system, which is going to be a browser-based and not Discord-based. Um, so question but, system, like, um, so they can, again, win different prizes. Uh, they can be more active on your website. Is that what you mean? Yeah, that, that's meant to be more of like the, the DeFi utility of yeah. the legends. Um, we, we want them to really have like a distinctive purpose outside of the game. For sure. And so we're, we're looking to continue kind of the relationship we've been building with some of these other tokens where we're bringing other tokens into the Discord game. We're bringing Alchemon in. We yeah, want to shout out to Alchemon. A... Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, oh, I, that that's one thing to mention. We just, I, I think it was uh, two days ago, uh, Clifford reached out to us, giving us a bunch of uh, comments. He gave us a hundred. Oh, so sure. every time you, anytime you get the last hit uh, versus the Alchemon you get to capture it. You have the opportunity to capture it. Oh, so dope. if you want some free Alchemon, uh, join our <laughs> Discord game. Yeah, y'all heard, yeah, damn. And uh, so, get so the last hit. There's, yeah. a, there's a lot of competition for the last hit, though. <laughs> oh, that's dope. So make sure y'all go in there in that Discord. That That is dope. So we got Eve Denver coming up. Y'all doing a presentation out there. So a lot of exposure. Speaking of uh, Ethereum, always got to ask this question with NFT people. Why not Ethereum on this project? Why not build on Ethereum? Why'd you choose Algorand? Yeah, I, I, I can answer this. So <laughs> I, I think the the uh, first um, the, the first answer, I, I actually like Ethereum a lot. I have I have a, a lot of friends that are very into it and uh, uh, they're uh, I they're they're kind of ETH maxis a little bit. <laughs> but um Yeah, I get it. <laughs> Uh, one of the reasons is to actually start an NFT project on Ethereum. You actually need quite a bit of capital uh, to even mint those tokens. And for for us, we were able to mint, 
like I, I think we have uh, 13 legends right now, which is 13 times, uh, you know, a thousand. So 13,000 sure, potential yeah. legends that you can have. And um, that cost us like 0. 0.001 algo, which is like, you know, I know it's impressive. It, it, it's, <laughs> Or it's 0 0.013 yeah. algos, yeah. but it, it's like really nothing, and uh, that allowed us to put most of our funding into the art and not just the like uh, the infrastructure for building out the NFTs. Mm -hmm. Which on in Ethereum, it probably would have cost us a couple thousand to do that. Facts, yes. Um, so, so that was the number one. The the other thing uh, that made me choose Algorand versus a lot of alternatives like uh, Solano and and Avalanche is the Algorand community is just really friendly. And if you have questions, especially with smart contracts, uh, they're so willing to just donate their time, which is really nice. Um, and with the... Uh, like I, I think, like Solano and Avalanche, their their uh, final transaction time is still smaller than Algorand's, mm -hmm. but w the reliability so far that I've seen with the Algorand's uh, <laughs> uh, chain is, yeah. is very good and stable, and I, I'm I'm a big fan of it. And, uh, and Solano, I, I think Solano be crashing. <laughs> or it getting congested, and I, I couldn't imagine trying to build a project on there, and you get a thirteen hour down day or something like that. Yeah, I, the, so the I, I'm I'm uh, I'm careful of my tongue when talking about <laughs> other projects. For sure, for I, sure. I think it's very harmful to be too much of a maxi on any uh, chain, all and especially because all these chains have the opportunity to change over time. So yeah. like Solano, just like right now, it could have that issue, but in a month or two, it, it could fix it, hopefully. And then, uh, you know, what you said a month ago of how much you hate it, it's like no longer valid. So, yeah. um, and that's just the beauty of software. It's like fast iterations and and you can change things on the fly. Like Ethereum, the same thing with that. They're, they're making tons of improvements. Hopefully they, they fix you know things, <laughs> for the, things yeah. you know for no, my, my first thing. my first blockchain experience was ethereum so i, I don't hate on it either but i'm always curious because uh it kept leading me back to algorand myself with just the you the easy usage and as you said uh the community is on point yeah yeah nice okay but, yeah sorry i went on a tangent no, no you're there. good no you're good <laughs> um so we talked about discord the project agar where did that name agar come from uh, it started out as just a code name for the project because we mm -hmm. were just looking for just like something quick to call it. Um, but yeah, just as as time went, everyone was really into it, and it, it's a <laughs> another uh, Norwegian uh, reference. Uh, nice. But Cultural, yeah, it just, it just it. kind of stuck, and yeah. and uh, yeah, we have we have the official logo now. Uh, the artists are uh, just finishing up the animation, and we're we're looking to do a a website revamp. So. The, the full animated logo should be uh, should be visible pretty soon. Oh, cool! Congrats on y'all. Um, before we slowly start to close out, can you share anything from the roadmap to give people this insight when this video drops? Something they can get excited for in this next coming weeks to months or quarter. I, I would say that the the roadmap um, with the website is going to see a revamp, and so that's going to become clear yep. uh, fairly soon. Um, I would say about things to be excited for is the the early MVP of the the DeFi app is going to be fairly soon, and so some of the th the gameplay that that people have come to really like from the Discord, you'll be able to find that on the web as well. Um, and then other than that, we're we're heading into. Uh, figuring out how to get a playable version of Agar so if people can experience the gameplay mechanics. Um, we want to get that out fairly soon. Um, currently, we're still in the prototype phase where we're really making sure that all the mechanics are, are good. We're, we have a top Hearthstone coach that we've been working a lot with, 
and coaches. We're, just, we're, we're yeah, looking yeah. to run this by as many professionals as we can to make sure that this uh, this truly is the next uh, step in competitive card games. Damn. Well, congrats again. That's dope. Um, I'm excited. Um, like, again, the artwork's beautiful. I like what y'all doing. And, you know, the community talked to me as well. So you know, I keep my ear to the, <laughs> the streets, I will say, the blockchain. Um, nice. Uh, any suggestions or words to NFT creators that are coming around, you know, about building projects on Algor? Any, any love you could show or any suggestions that you could give to build a community like y'all have? I, I think the, the key thing for me and this, you know, we, we figured this out as we went was that uh, on Algorand, all these projects want to work together. You know, it's a, it's a team here yep. and no, nobody's, uh, nobody's really uh, getting competitive with each other. It's, it's a, it's a team effort and everyone's happy to do collabs and just the, the spirit of, you know, showing how great Algorand is, uh, is it's, uh, it was a surprise to me, but it's, it's a great place to be. Cool. What about you, James? Yeah, I, I honestly was very surprised. I remember, uh, like, I, I'm a very, uh, what's the, the word, a, a negative viewpoint person where I'm like, oh, you know, like, our shot of launching a successful NFT project is like zero to none. Uh, <laughs> can only go up from there. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> but, but then, like, uh, we were just really lucky i think uh that people supported us and and i i think both victor and i are just really grateful for everyone that's just uh been willing to take a risk on people without even like this is the first time we've shown our faces uh oh, thank to you. the public <laughs> so um, so they're, they're going on a lot of faith and, and we we have to deliver on that uh yep. but the, the thing I, I've just been blown away with is just the other projects in the community and their willingness to like, not just step on each other to climb up, but right. raise yeah. each other up. And uh, I, I think that's, you know, I, I feel like we need to get better at that too. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, like Algo the Owl, I, I'm uh, just calling him out and yep. NFK, uh, Hey Jude, yep. Clifford. Yep. Uh, Algo leagues, all of them, they really helped us out a lot. And, uh, we're, and sorry for everyone else that I forgot, <laughs> but there's, Shout there's to too many, the to, yeah. The, the, yeah, the Algo too, too many people. Yeah. yeah. Well, nice. Uh, that's dope. I, again, I'm excited. I appreciate y'all for hopping on this channel. It's a great experience. I think everybody's gonna love this video to let you know in the audience know, uh, first thing we're going to do is have this out on youtube and then the audio version of this will get played a few weeks out on uh, spotify and apple Podcasts and all that so we'll have two different versions of this uh podcast feature right here and then uh again i'm about to close out uh i appreciate y'all for tapping in make sure y'all go check out project Ager, uh james victor out here the developing the minds behind this shout out to their team out in germany with the art <laughs> and everyone else in the Algo Fam community, uh, we go. Huh? Uh, I'm just, I'm stopping. Thanks, he will. <laughs>